if you do, if you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? what my parents just bought me. Um, a hippopotamus? Huh? No, bunk beds, like cowboys used to sleep in. <gasps> now I can invite friends to my house for sleepovers. Wowie, you are so lucky. Thanks, and you want to hear the best part? My parents said you could be my first guest tonight. Hey! <laughs> Dad, Dad! I go to... Uh, bunk bed sleepover at Dooley's Ranch House? Yes, sirree, buckaroo. <gasps> Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Um, only who's going to take care of your animals? No problem. I'll just take them all with me. I don't know, Willa. My mom doesn't allow animals in our house. Oh, well, they can stay home. My animals almost take care of themselves, and they've already been fed, so my dad won't even know they're around. Okay, I think that's everything. Hmm, not quite, Willa. You can't go to a pajama party without your PJs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coco. So, now you can help me decide which PJs I should bring. Isn't it exciting? Our first sleepover. <laughs> um... Actually, Coco, Dooley just invited me. His parents have a weird rule about no animals in their house. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll just be gone for one night. Oh, one whole night? But who's gonna stay with us? And who's going to... <laughs> Tell us it's just the wind when we hear scary noises. It'll be okay. Besides, one night goes by really quickly. Have a good night, guys. Mm -mm. Yummy and healthy. Now, I just need a... Oh, a spoon. Thank you. Whipped cream makes a tasty topper. Night, Dad. Love you. I love you too, sweetie. Here's a goodbye kiss. Looks like Willa's first sleepover has officially begun. You made it. You. Who knows if we'll ever see Willa again. How long is a night anyway? Oh, if you have trouble getting to sleep, it can seem like forever. You know, we miss Galatas too, but I bet time will go by quicker if we keep ourselves busy. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking a cowboy hat conga, then yes, sir. <laughs> I wonder what Will is doing right now. I mean, without us. I can't bounce high enough to tell. Jenny, can you see her? Uh-huh. Looks like they're having a rootin' tootin' dinner time. Mmm. Sleepover pizza tastes even yummier than regular pizza. It does? Yes, it does, partner. Dooley, as soon as you cowpokes finish eating, it's time to put on your jammies. Yeehaw! Yahoo! Now, now, 
we all want Willa to have a good time, don't we? Not me. I know how you feel. I miss Willa too. Looks like she's getting ready for bed now. So why don't we all do the same? Oh. But who's going to read me story? Dooley, this is like a real cowboy bunkhouse. Hey, Willa! Check it out. I'm Strummin' Dooley, the singing cowboy. Gather in little cowboys and cowgirls while I sing you a sweet prairie tale of riding and roping and rambling till we ate down the tumbleweed trail. <laughs> time in five minutes. Better brush those teeth. Boy, time goes by fast when you're having fun. Oh, no you don't. You guys sleep down here like you always do. Good night, everyone. I've never gone to sleep without Willa in the house. Yes, quite right. I am wide awake. It's too quiet. Yes, scary quiet. <laughs> wrong, Willa? It's the first time I've tried to go to sleep without my animals around. I miss Gus snoring under my bed and hearing Coco sleep hopping downstairs. And I don't even have one bunny to snuggle with. I'm sorry, Willa. I think I know how you feel. That's why every night I sleep with my Captain Mysterious doll. Really? Uh-huh. My parents bought it for my birthday. When I hug it really tightly, it helps me get to sleep. That's how I feel about my animals. Just don't tell anyone at school. Don't worry, Dooley. I promise. <gasps> Coco? Hi, Willa. Can I come in? I'm really glad to see you, Coco, but what are you doing here? Just wanted to see how your pajama party was going and to say goodnight. Nice, but you have to go before we wake up Dooley or get him in trouble with his parents. <gasps> right. But before I hop off, could you brush my fur a few hundred times like you always do before bedtime? <sighs> okay, but maybe just 50 or so tonight. Huh? Oh, hello, Vila. <gasps> I tried reading my story by myself, but somehow it makes more sense when you read it. Bert, you don't know how to read. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's probably why it didn't work. Okay, but just one quick story. And they all lived happily ever after. And now you both really have to go home. Oh, could you start the story over? We missed the part where the dragon eats the princess. Shh. Willa? Oh no! There's a strange shadow in the garage. And we never got our night night Coco! You know what, everybody? It kind of sounds like you're just making excuses to come see me, right? <laughs> and I bet it's because you can't get to sleep without me. I feel the same way. Only, if you stay here, we'll all get in trouble. You have to go home now. Willa? <gasps> doing here? Sorry, Dooley, but they couldn't get to sleep. I'm sorry, too, but they can't stay. <gasps> I know, but... <gasps> That's it! Great idea, Dooley! What is? Listen, everybody, I want you to go back home and find something that reminds you of me. Then hug it really tightly and close your eyes. It'll help you think about how much I love you and how I'm just next door. And before you know it, You'll fall right asleep. Dooley, are you going to lie down still awake? Going to sleep right now, Dad. <gasps> okay, what are some of the things that remind us of Willa? Her toys? 
kind of hard to hug. Oh, oh, oh. How about a soccer ball? Uh-oh. Her socks? Put alarm clock? Pencils? None of this sounds very snuggly. Or really. I think I know something huggable that'll remind you of Willa. What? What did you find? We'll sure remember this sleepover, huh, Willa? Willa? Let's keep it down, partners. We don't want Galatas to know we were... Mom? You didn't forget any of those fish up there, did you? Now let's ski paddle. <gasps> hey everybody, I'm home from school and ready to sir. Hi, Willa. Play tennis? Go water skiing? What's going on? We saw your dad cleaning out the garage, so we thought we'd help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hi, honey. What's new? Um, I was about to ask you, Dad. So you're getting rid of all your old sports gear, huh? Nope, I'm finally gonna get to use this primo gear I got at Adrian's Slightly Sweaty Sports Stuff. But don't we need to be near the water to surf or water ski or play scuba tennis? <laughs> oh, well, that's my big surprise. Tomorrow, we're flying out to visit Grandma Birdie at her new beach home. Wowie! Grandma Birdie and my first airplane ride? I better start packing. I'm gonna need an extra big suitcase. Or three. Well, we. <laughs> when do we leave? Sounds like fun! Gee, how are we all going to fit in that itsy bitsy airplane, Lou? I don't know, Tiny. Plus, it's gonna take us so far from home. Ooh. Willa, can I borrow some suitcase space? I've packed all my waterproof hair bows, but now I don't have room for my kangakini. <laughs> sure thing, Coco. We just packed plenty of snacks to eat on the plane. Bob, Gilbert is a pet, not a snack. <laughs> Bob's so excited. We're flightless birds, you know. <laughs> then this trip will be extra fun for you guys. Willa, are you sure your dad's taking all of us on this trip? Hmm, dad didn't say how many tickets he bought. I better check. Sorry, sweetie, it's just uh, the two of us on this trip. Afraid your animals have to stay home. <laughs> but dad, I've never been away from my animal pals for this long. Who's gonna take care of them? Don't worry, Willa. Miss Vanderwinkle's promised to keep a good eye on your critters. <gasps> oh, I better give her the house key and this list of do's and don'ts. Hear that, everybody? You're gonna have lots of fun. You know how nice Miss Vanderwinkle is. Kenga, yeah! Oh, yeah. Miss V's great. Gosh, Lou, now I'm worried about Willa being so far away from us. Me too, Tiny. How are we gonna make Willa not want to go on that airplane? Oh, so close to being the first penguins to fly. And I am so tired of being teased by those know-it-all crows. We're birds, too! And a bird, Bob. Up, up, and up! Just think, tomorrow I'll be on an airplane. 
mine, just like that one. Sounds super exciting, honey. Or maybe not. What happens if you get a seat next to somebody cranky, Willa? And you can't go outside and play or over to Dooley's house. Or make yourself a yummy snack in the kitchen? Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you not go, Willa? But wouldn't you miss seeing your grandma, Birdie? Hmm, you're right, Jenny. If only there was some way I could practice going on an airplane. A pretend airplane? Uh-huh. We're going on a make-believe flight, so I'll be ready for a real one. <laughs> flight attendant Coco here. Time for passengers to take their seats. Great. There goes my elbow room. Don't worry, sir. My elbows aren't very big. Let me know if my little cubs are bothersome in any... <laughs> <laughs> This is your captain speaking. Please fasten your pretend seatbelts and prepare for make-believe takeoff. <laughs> you don't look very comfortable, Willa. And takeoff sounds extra scary. Um, it's not scary. It's fun. Look at how fast we're going. And we're already up in the air. <laughs> <sighs> Air Penguin to Control Tower, do we have clearance for takeoff? Silence means yes. Um, boys, I'm not so sure about your flight plan. She's right, Inky. We forgot our most important piece of equipment. Now we're ready for takeoff. And away we go! Wacka, 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 wacka. Oh, oh, got any sevens? Huh? Huh? Nope. Go fish. <laughs> oh, 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 yummy. <laughs> go fish, Gus, not go bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss stewardess Aru. Good eye, Mike. When's lunch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who should Gator have to eat to get a bite around here, huh? <laughs> huh? What? Did somebody say lunchtime? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a movie or any food, but here's some delicious water, sir. <laughs> Oh. Um, um, uh, uh, sir, uh, I mean, ma'am. Children, please, you're disturbing the other passengers. Gee, Willa, guess airplane flights are no fun at all, huh? I know how to make it fun. <laughs> Let's play an airplane game. Like, what's that cloud? See that puffy, fluffy cloud? Let's have fun and think out loud. Almost looks like Santa's beard. Or an ice cream sundae sort of smeared. Is that a giant floating clown? Or a tuba upside down? I see ports are floating by. And there is a beehive that can fly. <laughs> Catchy song, huh? Hey, we're trying to make Willa not want to go, remember, Tiny? Oh, yeah. This is your captain here. We are beginning our descent to Grandma Birdie International Airport. Yay! Oh! What else can we do, Boo? I don't know, Tiny. I guess Willa's just going to fly away. <coughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Please return your tables, trays, and bunnies to their upright position. Oh. <laughs> mayday, mayday! We're losing gas, boys! Let's set it down on those two boulders over there. What happened? 
We seem to have encountered a patch of, um, elephant turbulence. Very rare. <laughs> then I guess I'm ready for anything. I can't wait to go on my real airplane trip. Glad to hear it, sweetie. I just hope Tiny and Lou are ready for you to go. Huh? Tiny, Lou, I just came to say goodnight. So, what are you doing out here? Practicing waiting for you to come home. From your first faraway plane trip. We're not gonna move from this spot until you come back. <coughs> what? But how can I have fun at Grandma Birdie's if I know you're just sitting here? <laughs> so, uh, silly suitcase. Dad, I don't think I can go on our plane trip. Oh, honey, are you worried about your first airplane ride? Because, you know, trying new things is part of the fun of any trip. I know, Dad, and I really want to see Grandma Birdie, but I can't go because my elephants are going to miss me too much. Well, how about this? Maybe you can tell Tiny and Lou to look at the moon every night we're gone, and you'll do exactly the same thing at Grandma's house. That way, we'll all be seeing the same moon, so we won't feel so far apart. <laughs> That's a great idea, Dad. I just hope the moon's enough for Tiny and Lou. <laughs> Looks like they're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Boys up to now. Bob's decided he's gonna be the first penguin on the moon. <laughs> Prepare for liftoff. T minus ten. Nine. Blast off! <laughs> That's one small step for Bob, but one giant leap for Penguin Kai. <laughs> Thank you. 